isn't that pretty? It is pretty. Kind of all those flowers on the ground. And then we have this. It's very decadent. What is that? A 13 foot ladder? Linda Lee. Hi there. Botanist. <laughs> is that good? Oh. I'm Linda Lee and I'm a botanist at the Savannah River Ecology Lab, which is part of the University of Georgia. But we're um, looking at our big yucca today. Yeah, so yuccas in general have a really interesting and unusual pollination syndrome. Not only do they require a very specific kind of pollinator, which is a yucca moth, but the mechanism of pollination is also very unusual. It's what's called active pollination. And yuccas are one of the very few known examples in the whole world. Let yeah. me interrupt you, because yeah. look, there are all kind of things flying around there. There, Yeah, there are, but it ain't going to work. Are going to pollinate? What? Nope, it ain't going to work. Why? Because they're not going to... Because actually, yuccas have a bowl-shaped stigma that makes it just about impossible for an insect to accidentally pollinate it. All right, so I'm going to take this off. I'm holding in my hand one single flower, right? No. See the little um, balls? Those are the male part, surprisingly. Gets onto the female part, which in this case is like the little receptor. Then what happens to hmm. that male part? Then the pollen should germinate and put a, po uh, put a um, tube down into the, the stigma and fertilize the ovary. The and that's ovary? where the fruit will develop. It will develop into a fruit. Right at my thumbnail. Yeah. So she will actually place the pollen down into this, this um, concave part of the stigma. That's the receptive part in there. And then she will lay her eggs down in the ovary, which we talked about earlier. Her reason for pollinating this flower is she's actually providing food for her own offspring. Uh, she lays her eggs in there and they will consume some of the developing seeds, but not all. If the yucca moth lays too many eggs, then that flower, that fruit, developing fruit will actually abort. So it's this really fine-tuned balance. Um, it has to be pollinated by this particular moth, but she's also going to take something for herself. Her offspring are going to consume some of the seeds, but the plant will still get to produce some seeds. It will still get to reproduce. So everyone's happy. Life goes on. It has for a really long time.